All right, so today we're going to make a video of making a setup bearing. Uh, so setup bearing is when you put the differential together, there's a lot of uh, tolerances that you set by adding or removing shims, and those shims are typically behind a bearing, and it's a trial and error thing. You put it on, take it off, put it on, take it off. If you have regular press-on bearings, uh, you can, A, it's a huge beating, and B, you can end up damaging the bearing itself, pulling it back off and pressing it back on. So I've already made up a couple, and one of the ones is the inner bearing on the pinion. And this one has to come on and off to set pinion depth. And what I've done is basically taking, I don't know, a mill off of the inside of this. Now, obviously it won't work anymore. It needs to be pressed on fully. So I did have to basically sacrifice this part. It's a you know, $20 bearing that does kind of suck, but uh, it'll allow me to do this with the least amount of pain. And from the videos I've seen, there is a significant amount of pain involved in setting up the rear. So normally this would press on, but if you watch here, it barely slips down, really nice and tight still, but I can put it on and take it off with my fingers. So this is what we want to get to. Now, I think you can see, as you can see here, uh, this is on the carrier. It has a bearing on either side. Uh, I'll put this back in this box. I've marked those so I don't have confusion later. I uh, marked it two ways. I actually put a little bit of white paint on both sides, so if I pick these up, I'll know right away that these are not the final bearings to be put in. They're just set up, and I marked their box set up. I've already done one of the carriers. The way we're going to do this is with this little flap wheel. Um, let's see if you can see. And it's just a, you know, Northern Tool and Equipment's finest again. Uh, and what I'll do is basically move that around here on the pinion bearing. It was a little bit easier because it was just the right diameter to fit inside there. This, I have to kind of work it around. This is going to be really loud. Uh, I'm probably going to time lapse this because it takes a little while of me running it through here, trying to see if it's tight yet or if it slips on yet, doing it again, doing it again, because um, I want it just enough. I don't want to go too far or have it sloppy and just rattle it around on there. And safety goggles. And we'll do safety goggles and ear protection because this is loud. When the compressor upstairs kicks on, it's really loud. So I'll spare you guys that, and I will be trying my hand at, uh, obviously, this is the first stationary camera video, uh, and I'll be trying some editing this time for the first time. So we'll learn together. And I'm using a air drill just because a like i said it takes a while this would be pretty hard on a normal drill it might overheat pneumatic you won't overheat it just makes a lot of racket
Okay, now that the compressor is sleeping, uh, he definitely knows he got to work out today. Uh, the air drill is awesome, but it pulls some CFM. So, here is our freshly set up bearing. Uh, it's not perfect in that it's, I'm sure it's not perfectly round, but that's not important to me too much. What's mostly important is that it is exactly the right thickness. So, I bought them at the same time as the, the setup and the production bearing at the same time. So that way I could have be somewhat ensured that they're from a same or similar batch so the they should be pretty much exactly the same. I did booger this one up just a hair. The vise was fighting me. Uh, but I don't think they're actually depressions and not raises so that should be fine when the rubber meets the road. So let me see if I can new camera so hopefully it cooperates and comes off of here okay you can see that uh, I don't know that I showed this last time but on the I've got the ring gear put on the pinion uh, or pinion I've got the ring gear put on the center diff and uh, torqued them all to 55 foot-pounds, used some Loctite. I saw debates on there. I don't see what it hurts other than harder to get apart, and hopefully it won't be having to come apart. Uh, but here, to show you here, before, this wouldn't fit on there at all. And now, with just a little bit of encouragement, it fits on. It's still a little warm, so one thing you'll want to do if you do this, recheck, make sure that it let, let, let it get nice and cold, and same temperature as the uh, center, and make sure it still fits because it's going to get a little tighter and that's kind of okay with me because it's got just enough slack now to where I can get that on and off and as I'm replacing shims uh, I will be cursing less. Um, that's really all for tonight I think. Uh, I'm going to again try my hand at video, video editing and I suppose that's about it. Uh, once I get the final few parts, they're actually waiting on just one part who says he'll be for here on the 18th, so what, Monday, I guess? Uh, then I will be actually next week be able to put this thing together. Uh, I'm for TMI for YouTube, but I am have quit one job today and starting a new job Monday after next, so I have a full week full of playing with my car, which will be nice, and uh, hopefully I'll video it and you guys will get to watch it. Thanks.